Well, I'm now absolutely delighted to be joined by Anna Marie Ray. Anna Marie, welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you for taking the time to come and talk to us. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> now, you've won lots of awards recently, haven't you? So talk us through the 2014 award that you won. 2014 was the Maria Guttermeyer Award. And early this year, uh, the Presidential Award, the PKC Award, was also announced. So, um, yeah, so those prizes were on reconnection, reconnection to my work on ultraqual atoms, polar molecules, and optical lattice clocks. So how exciting was it to win the awards? Oh, fantastic, fantastic. <laughs> One of the awards, actually, I was back in, in Colombia in vacations during my holidays, so it was fantastic news to hear about those. It's a lot of recognition, isn't it? Because those are very prestigious awards, only given for, for very leading young scientists. Uh, yes, it's a very high honour for me to receive those awards, yes. That's great. So tell us a little bit more about what you're working on right now. Yes, yeah, so I try to understand how atoms and molecules, when they are brought to very, very low temperatures, so where they are cooled down to almost below one million degree of a Kelvin, could be used to simulate the behavior of electrons in solids, could be used to make better clocks, or could be used for quantum simulation and quantum information. Can we make with them a better computer? That's basically... What, what are some of the, I mean, it's very interesting stuff. What are some of the applications that you think your work will lead to? Yes, yeah, so, well, certainly, uh, although this is not very close, but the idea is that we want to create, we engineer better materials. So we know that uh, there is exit, high temperature superconductor exists, but the temperature at which they superconduct is higher than what we had before, but not as high as we want, not room temperature. But still, we don't understand why these materials behave like that. So the idea is try to understand the behavior and with that understanding, try to build better materials. That's one. The other is better clocks and better clocks have applications to GPS, better GPS, better communication, um, sensing, um, and quantum information. Well, having a, a better, a much more faster computer that can beat what we can do with a classical computer can certainly have very important applications. One of the things we've been talking about this week is exactly that, isn't it? Application, so the, the link between academic research and, and the uses for that in, in, in the real world. It's an important use of physics. Mm -hmm. Certainly, so, and certainly one of the ideas that we have, for example, for the clocks is how it's possible to bring those systems out of the laboratory. So they are now in the laboratory, but what about what is the possibility to miniaturize them and be able to really work with them out of the lab. That's one of the trusts that we have. Well, thank you very much indeed for taking the time to talk to us. Oh, thank it's you. really interesting and again, many congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs>